Last Labor Day weekend, I visited the city of Lynn, Massachusetts, also known as Love Why. Being in the hometown of my late brother, King Asiatic, I had to pay homage to the man who dedicated his life to his community. Peace. Building with his first and second born students, along with a few others that came from them, I was reminded that community building is at the core of what a 5%er does. The God Righteous Ruler, King Asiatic's first student, picked us up somewhere in Boston, Mass, to take us to the mini mansion in Lynn, Mass, where the God now along. King Asiatic's second student, also known as SD Nat, cooks up his music. Of course, on the way, we built on a few sciences. Peace, peace, God, peace. <laughs> Righteous Ruler. We in Black Medina, just got done picking a guard up from the bus stop. When I first got 120 from King Asiatic, he didn't start me with the knowledge degree. He mm. didn't st with student enrollment. He started me with the knowledge knowledge degree in the one of fourteenth and the one of mm. in, the, in the knowledge guard degree in the one of forty. Okay. Right. I said, why'd you do that? He said, because you gotta know about your word first. A man has to know about his word if he can keep it or not. Then we arrived in Love Why and linked with the God now Allah. I think you could see like, you know, who's religious versus who's, you know what I'm saying, applying culturally. this culturally, you know what I'm saying, and applying these teachings as a culture because a culture is a way of life, you know what I'm saying? So when you got to understand it to the knowledge, you're gonna, your way of life is gonna show and prove that. And now it's not gonna show and prove bullshit. You know what I'm saying, retro action because now oh, that's all you got to deal with then, you know what I'm saying, getting religious. Doing, doing like the Pharisees did Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. that's all you got, you know what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you got conversations to have, you know what I'm saying? Well, we out here really actually making things happen, making everybody see some moon stars, you know what I'm saying? In more ways than one. We shared some stories, broke down some history, and celebrated the legacy of King Asiatic. That's one thing he said, you'll never get, understand this, get this culture if you don't walk and talk with God. And that's what we used to do a lot, is walk and talk together with the mathematics and do today's mathematics. And he used to put us on the spot and put me on camera and on blast when I didn't want to be on camera. And look at me now in front of the camera, God. King Asiatic always showed support for his students, especially in getting a skill or a trade. His second student, now Allah, became a prolific recording artist, doing his thing on a national and international stage. For those that don't know, you will know. Here he is building on his name. Now we're all CK. Many gonna know me as ST Knack, you know what I'm saying? Recorder artist, but first and foremost, you know, I'm the original man, you know what I'm saying? So people hit, when people see me in the street, yo, what's up, Knack? You know what I'm saying? His name's Now Law. Peace. I met the guard back in 2014 in Mecca. At the 50th anniversary of the 5% Nation. Yeah, I'm now a law sea king. I'm from Love Watt, Master of Law, which is Lynn, Massachusetts. Um, I'm also known as ST Nack of the Tragic Allies, you know what I'm saying? I'm here representing my nation on our 50 year anniversary. You already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? King Asiatic would bring him and a few of his other students to the show and prove. We would go across the street into the St. Nicholas Projects and build on the sciences of life. This ain't even all the people from Lynn, so it's a beautiful thing, it's a miraculous thing for us to be able to say, damn, love why, we kicking this for real, and we speaking, we speaking this language. So all praise due to the Allah. City the city I gave birth to. to. Indeed, indeed. The city don't, I gave birth don't to. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm glad I chose to document these moments, which has become a part of a treasure trove of history that has been preserved for us to revisit at any time. I'll share more on our brother King Asiatic and his history in another presentation. The journey continued the next morning as we headed back to Now Wild towards the Pilon with the guard Esty Nack and Davino. Well, first off, we you know we roll out this project on Bandcamp, man. Let them know it exists for those that want to purchase it. Last year, Nack invited me out to one of the shows in the Pilon putting me on to a dope display of talent in my own backyard. True and living God, come with supreme science, you know what I'm saying? It was the first installment of the cookout events curated by a thousand words. I was so impressed that I decided to cover this year's events. On the way, 
Knack and Davino prepared for their set while vibing to the music in the car. Our destination of this day was to an art gallery somewhere in the hood curated by a thousand words. I go to everybody hood, bro. So now it's right, people come to mind. Once we reached the Pilon, the boogie down Bronx, we ran into the guards on the highway on their way to the same event. What it is? We outside. We outside. Yes, yes. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, where y'all come from? Where y'all come hold on. from? Hold on. You know what I mean? <laughs> we right on time, you know what I'm saying? We all, we all, you know what I mean? Everything in motion is the way it's supposed to be. The Wi-Fi is on. You know what I'm saying? That was the big bulk group right there. Like, that was mm. like the bulk of the Boston, that's Boston, Boston yeah, guys. That's, that's, the, that's the Boston car right there. You know, this is the first segment of the weekend, man, so. Uh, Thousand Words is doing an art gallery. He's basically he's turning his building into an art gallery, so I don't even know what to expect, really. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's going to be a whole bunch of amazing sh works in there, you know what I'm saying, for everybody to enjoy. But this is like some, like, real, it's going to be real exclusive, you know what I mean? It's basically invite only, you know what I'm saying, except for those that, like, really paid up to be a part of this, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be a real cultural event, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, we're gonna see art, we're gonna see, you know, science, man, move, you know, motion movements. We turning up in a building, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like some like cool artsy building. It's a building, like, you know what I'm saying? Like insert New York building here, you know what I'm saying? Bronx building actually. Yeah. Should be uh should be interesting. We arrived at the hood tenement building turned into an art gallery. A crowd stood outside the building awaiting the main events of the evening. On the first floor of the building, a DJ was playing music. The walls were laced with impressive art from the first floor going all the way up the stairs. It was an art gallery unlike any other. Artists shared their talents as the tenants of the building bore witness to what the hood has to offer. Oh, yeah, I've been living here since I was like, I was born here basically. We done ran through these hallways. You have never seen nothing like this? Nah, this is rare. Like, this is something good for the community. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, times like this, you don't see stuff like this. You know, you see it's violence. I just came out of jail myself. You know? If I'm good, good, maybe you don't want to go back. Maybe you want to be happy. You know? mm -hmm. The walls whisper stories of resilience and creativity. See this store right here, this store right here, everybody grew up here, bro. Mm. Like everybody grew up here, man. Even the African, the African dude right here, you gonna got enough money, he gonna hold you down, you feel me? It's mm. like shit like that. This is the best one because it, it's a piece of history that finally takes me back. Shout out to whoever made this one. This, this, this is fire. Right outside, the street pulsated with performances. It was a dope celebration of culture and the transformative power of art. You already know, man, we out here in my crib. That's where I live at. I lived here 35 years of my life. I had to ask, what will make him want to do something like this? I'm, a, I'm broke, so like, I can't afford a $6,000 gallery, you know what I'm saying? So my life been a gallery, dog. So I brought the people that support me to where I was raised at. I go to everybody hood, bro. So now it's right people come to mines. And you know why I really did this, bro? Because I ain't go to an art gallery till I was 30, dog, and I'm 35. And my people, you feel me, will probably never spend money to go to a gallery, so I brought it to them. They leave their crib, they see beautiful shit. People want to buy them things, you heard? Half of the shit is already sold out. This event reminds me of the essence of hip hop, reminiscent of park jams that once united neighborhoods, bringing people of the community together in celebration of the art. A Thousand Words is an artist himself, taking Polaroid pictures and has been called the Polaroid Pope. In fact, this series of events is a work of art in itself. What up, man? It's your boy Hollywood Chucky, representing New England, Rhode Island all day. Chappers be in the motherfucking building. And I just want to say my experience with this shit, this is the motherfucking culture, man. 
So I go by the name of Tony Caves. Do, 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 do. Peace, peace, peace. The word Spanish rings. I come in the name of original self a lot. Peace to the gods. You already we live. Mathematics is one today. On oh, Bump Styles, Coca King of the fucking city. We live in P-Long right now and all that. You know, live and direct. Knowledge is ever abundant, ever vesting around all of us. I'm up here in the beautiful Bronx. They got the art all up and down the tenement buildings here in P-Long in the Bronx. I thought this was dope. Like, you know, it brings it back to the culture. It's good to have people from everywhere out here. Is that hip hop in the Bronx in the essence. Spanish man out in the Bronx with my man Thousand Words, cookout joining, shit's amazing. In the Bronx, where this, where this shit started at. You know, in the Bronx right now, it's one of the few places left but we actually still have New York essence. Everything's getting gentrified. He's doing shit that hasn't been done in the Bronx in a long time, you know what I mean? The Bronx is like, Bronx is in my in my flesh. The Bronx is in my blood. It smells like, it smells like the freshest pastelitos and fucking gun smoke. Ah, this is beautiful, bro. This is one of a kind history type shit going on for what our generation's going through and shit, you know what I mean? I got out the car, I seen all the love, man. It just immediately was just like amazed. Whoever came up with that determined idea is a mastermind with that. You gotta appreciate shit like this, you know what I mean? With a thousand words, art gallery. When, when the fuck you ever seen an art gallery in a fucking, in a tenement building, man? Nah, I never seen nothing like this. It's up in a tenement building, arts going up the stairs. First time like in a building like this? This shit is dope to see. Beautiful experience. You gotta appreciate all the artists that's involved. I personally know a lot of them, so it means a lot more to me. It's a lot of legends out here surrounding all of us. Yeah, I'm here. It's beautiful to see all my peoples out here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's showing love. So it's a beautiful event. All different type of creative arts, man. That's fire, man. I love every minute of it. Salute to a thousand words. Salute to all the people on um, performance night. So dope shit. We here for a beautiful fucking rap slash fine art event. Yeah, last time I checked, it was the it was the 50th year of hip hop and all that shit, man. And here we are, and that's what we doing. What better way to celebrate it? You already know what it is. Shout out Thousand Words, man. Hardest working man in hip hop, you heard? For real. I love everybody watching this, except except for you. Except for you. Yay. Peace, yes, God. Yeah, peace. peace, God. Peace. Peace, peace. I'm sure this event will inspire others to want to do the same in their community, as they should. The next day, I link with the guards a few hours before showtime. I joke with the guard, telling him that he looks like one of the connects. Except it's kilos of motherfucking paint and, 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 and art and, 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 and computer software, you know what I'm saying? If one thing is for sure, the guard enjoys to get his cuisine on. So we went to this premier Dominican restaurant located somewhere in the Pilon. And as we waited to be seated, the guards built on mathematics and the signs to everything in life. Because we all know what's right and exact. We got the formula. We got supreme mathematics. And supreme mathematics make all minds one. So once, once all minds is one, we know the way. Wisdom is the way. Meanwhile, on the other side of the p -Long, the cookout was starting to bubble at a spot called Bronx Landia. And like the day before, the theme was art and culture some of the same paintings from the night before lacing the place and adorning the walls. I kept coming across this particular painting and I must admit it is pretty clever and although there are ingredients that I personally don't indulge in I respect the art and how it's done. The DJ was on set doing his thing. The fact that the art was at the forefront of this series of events is what makes it so dope, especially when the art of it all seems to be coming more and more distant. Peace to all those keeping it creative. As the people poured in, the performances started. My name is Ferrelli, I'm from Northeast DC. Um, I've been rapping all my life, really. I'm out here for a thousand words for Broxlandia. And, um, you know, I've just been doing my thing. I'm just floating around for real. Grills outside got fired up. And I want to know, that when I met a Thousand Words last year, he assured me that all the food was kosher and safe for the guards to consume. It looks like he kept it that way this year. Turkey pastrami, ground turkey, no meat, no food. You understand me? Tell me. From the way things were going, it was looking like the night was about to be an interesting one. Yet at the same time, myself and others waited to get seated at a spot on the other side of the town. And once we got seated, 
we needed some Spanish interpreters to help us with the menu. Once done getting some nourishment, Nack had to grab a few items before heading to the cookout. When we arrived at the event, it was just starting to get packed. There were a few barbecue grills set up in the front of the building. Little did we know, this setup would play a pivotal role in the events that unfolded. But we'll circle back to that in a few. Now this event was set up in the heart of Hunts Point, South Pelon, Boogie Down Bronx. The anticipation was electric. The artists charged the atmosphere with their high explosives. As we moved through the crowd, checking out the scenery, the energy in the air was high powered. Shout to Infinite Power for bringing me backstage. I linked up with the guard original self, who assisted me in getting a few drops. What up, y'all? It's the show off Static Selector. Peace, yo, Bliss from Juice from Rochester, New York, man. You already know Vindo Andalini. AKA Perico Suave. Beijing right here. It's your girl, China Streets, the baddest influence, you know what I mean? The source heist, heist life, the nice life. Phil, fill up caskets. Yo, yo, you already know. Whatever your favorite auntie like to call me when I come through. I want my man F Mega, peace to the guard and all that. You know, we at the cookout, day two. Here at the cookout, shout my man Thousand Words. And Thousand Words is like a pillar in this shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this event is lit right now. I got me a good old glass of Moet, you know what I mean? All right. Stoked to see a lot of uh, just the hip hop love, man. We here in the Bronx. Yo, this is fly as shit, bro. This is what the culture is about, you know what I mean? And this shit is live. We're here with the guard. The artists is getting together, showcasing, you know what I mean? They, they talents, they art, bro. This is what it's about. Like, I feel, like, blessed to be here. Ah, we feel great, man. This is, a, this is a great opportunity for us to be here. Uh, shout out to Thousand Words. This is just, like, a legendary moment, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Nah, this shit fire, bro, you know? We about to light this shit on fucking fire, man. Represent hip-hop, 50, you know what I mean? Like everybody else. You know what I mean? I love the culture. Drinking, fuck the cops. They're trying to stay. We can't drink. If we were in Brooklyn, we'd be drinking in front of the cops. Like, we this shit. Like, we created our own culture. My coach is I God. You know what I mean? It's just another day at the office, man. Yeah, we here on the Wisdom Day. Properly applying what we know. This regular. You know what I mean? But it's special. Where I rest at? Brooklyn. I'm from Lynn, Massachusetts. In City 781. Yo, I rest in Massachusetts. Born righteous, that's Brockton, Massachusetts, but I'm from now Justice, New Jersey. In Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? BK all day, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Lovewild, Massachusetts, Lynn, Massachusetts, you know what I mean? Yeah. I represent Queens too. We come from different environments, we know from now wild, we from Love Wild, you know what I'm saying? He's Cyber Born, Hoboken, New Jersey. I represent LI too, you know what I'm saying? But uh, hey, we in the Bronx, man. We're just here having a good time, bro. Shit's beautiful, man. Shout out a thousand words. It's still, it's still 1999 out here. This is like going to be a staple. This is like our rolling loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what this shit represents to us. You know what I'm saying? We about to set the stage on fire. Y'all already know. Listen. So we sharing what we know and what, how we stepping. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the gods. We live and direct. Peace to the gods and earth. You already know 5% live and direct. If you're not in attendance, it sucks to be you. As we approach the evening's crescendo, the anticipation in the air was reaching a fevered pitch. So much that the police and fire department showed up. They moved through the crowd as I wondered, what the fuck do they want? This is right before SD Knack hit the stage. The guard Infinite Power lent a hand for me to get on the stage. Everybody make some noise for SD Knack! You can almost see the electricity in the air with the atmosphere charged with high explosives.
You can feel the energy crackling like an electric storm in this layer of atmosphere. As Nat let off his heavy artillery of bars, detonating potent bursts of energy into the air. is supposed to help us do. You know what I'm saying? Make, make amazing shit that inspires the people and helps them become better people in general. You know what I mean? Word. Too many motherfuckers is pieces of shit, man. Cause they don't do nothing. They ain't got no, nothing to do or nobody to do nothing around them. Get you some motherfucking money, man. Stop talking that bullshit. Play the beats, man. I'm talking way too much myself. I got the clear. Just as he was about to perform his Angel Dior song, the venue's manager took Nack's mic from him because she was apparently under pressure from the fire department. Yet that didn't stop Nack from continuing his onslaught of bars with the crowd's enthusiastic participation. Perplexed by the abrupt halt of the show, bore expressions of confusion. Davino added an emphatic exclamation. Fuck him. You know we don't fuck with Paul anyways. Hey yo! Show us over! Sorry, for that! A thousand words, the mastermind behind this show clearly wasn't happy. Yet the crowd showed their appreciation for what they just experienced. Journey that would be. 
A young gentleman from the crowd expresses profound appreciation for what a thousand words had accomplished this evening. I got to work at seven. I came straight here, nigga. This is the best hip hop shit I've ever seen. I am good. Thank you, family. Well, it took some time for the energy to settle as folks seemed reluctant to depart. Please, I need everybody to start to exit. Yo, we got to clear it out. Please, clear it out. Thank you so much. I did my best. Thank you. Peace to SD Nat for adding me on to his social equality and adding his wisdom to this recording. You said it does? Water's good. I like to drink water. You know what I'm saying? Water symbolics of the wisdom. Today's mathematics is wisdom. This is the second day. You know what I'm saying? But we the first in line because we keep flowing just like water. We keep shit hydrated. We the one that, that's where the life traveled through, the water. Without the water, what vehicle you got? You know what I'm saying? We dealing with the wisdom. That's why we swift and it's a changeable. You know what I'm saying? That's why the devil can't come and stop God moving. Because God is the greatest. Peace. Peace, God. Peace, God. Yeah. God. We out here building amongst the people. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Front and center. It was said that West Side Gun, one of Max's collaborators, was in the building this evening. However, I didn't get the bell with him. Peace to him for helping our brother take his art to new heights. Yo, yo, peace to Inf Mega. You know what I'm saying? Peace to Inf Mega. You know what I'm saying? Gods and herbs all over the universe. This is a real thing. ST Nat is mathematics, not magic, baby. It can happen because you can make it happen. Can't stop the gods, though. Can't do it, man. We some gods and herbs. What up, man? Pro Diligent, big one now, shit, big umbrella shit, man. We out here at the cookout, man. Shit ain't go how we wanted it to, but we still here. We showed up, we pulled up, we showed love, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm glad we here, man. Well, shout to Ip Mega, man. Peace to the gods. This Mondo Slave right here, broadcasting live from the cookout via fucking Bronx, New York. We was in here handling some handles, and the fucking Pro 9 showed up and shut every fucking thing down. It was crazy. They shut it down before I got to see my niggas, the umbrella, do their thing. But I tried to hold it down, you know what I mean? My Digital, stay, you know what I mean? I tried, to, I tried to bench press this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Put it on my back, so, you right. know, you caught it, you caught it. Boy, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you I ran into Stove Guard Cooks as he signed autographs and took a few pics. Yo, Stove was good. Nah, here you go with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see in the, the box, that was a word. One of the brothers ever. What can we do? Hip hop lives on. 50. Yeah. Come on. Stove up. There you go, man. I'm sorry, yo. But we did it, right? Did it, did it, did it. Yo, big thing. I love all of y'all. Y'all watch it. I love y'all, man. Next one will be bigger. We're going to get a better place. My curiosity led me to the fire department captain. I had to inquire about the reason for this intervention. What are we doing? What happened? So what happened? If you drove by the door in the front, the whole sidewalk was blocked. Oh, you didn't exit for this building? No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, just exit for the building. Is blocking the exit for the building, you no, saying? No, no, the whole sidewalk, everything is blocked. You saw outside. Right, right. So Everyone's that's, that's, drinking outside, the park outside. That's not what we're talking about. Now, remember those grills that were set up in front of the building? Apparently, this gave the fire department reason to shut the show down. And your only exit was blocked by a fire thing. So it was blocked by a grill and a oh, paint grill and a charcoal grill. Beyond the venue's walls, the vino let ear and shared wisdom with the young aspiring rapper who had dared to lay his verse in front of this accomplished artist. Memorized every line in your life story, trading portraits of the first time they heard you, and since that day, they ain't let you leave. Ever since prime contact, they was all ears. When you spread the good word, you got good receivers. Davino schooled him and put him onto some game. So, in these days and times, it's a lot more than just how nice you are. You know what I mean? All of you, so you understand how you move, or how they operate. Young man decided to carry his crates for him. Peace to SD Nat for sharing his social equality with me on these last few days. I mean, listen, man, we out here, we had a great time. You know what I'm saying? The push shut it down. You know what I mean? The energy was real pure. 
Oh, uh, Massachusetts definitely represented heavy here tonight. You know, we did a great thing. I'll put this in Shout a Shout out brand. Thousand Words. Thousand Words is an amazing human being with a tremendous skill and ability to curate and push it together. Um, this shit was super rogue and fantastic. Anybody who came here tonight witnessed a historical event and the hip-hop 50 year anniversary. Inf Mega, we love you for what you do, man. And thank you for loving our brother King Asiatic and for coming and doing this work with us, man. Because we're going to be victorious. Peace. Peace, God. If Mega did this.